Right now, the LA Chargers are going through it. Justin Herbo is going through injuries. Joe Alt has just been um, announced that he is doubtful for this game on Sunday. And they're going through the thick of things right now. So, we replaced Herbo with Mr. 15 Kids, Philip Rivers. And we're going to see how well Jim Harbaugh can take Phil Rivers in this Chargers squad throughout the season. So, no more Herbo. Just full on Rivers. And yes, for some reason, I don't know why Madden does this, but they'll always have the player's height off by one inch. So he's six foot five, but for whatever reason, they have him at six foot four. He's the correct weight. Just for some reason, the height is a tad bit off. But let's get go ahead and get right into this. So starting off right away, we have the Las Vegas Raiders week one. Should be a win. It is a win. Okay. Then they play the Carolina Panthers, who in Madden can always be kind of like a toss-up type of game. Sometimes you can win, sometimes you lose. Um, they lose to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and they get an early bye week. Week four. Wow. Okay, so just realizing now that their bye week is literally this week. I Actually, no, wait. The bye week, week five. So they play the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, that sucks. So, they don't have Derwin James, because he's suspended for one game, the Chiefs game. They don't have Joe Walt, because he's doubtful. <sighs> Freaking. Chiefs are about to get the freest win ever against this L.A. Chargers squad. That is absolutely atrocious. Okay. Anyway, so far, Phil Rivers, seven touchdowns, three interceptions, 864 yards, Nothing really too special. I mean, again, you know, listen, Phil Rivers was great in the regular season. He wasn't really a playoff quarterback. He was kind of as a regular season, you know, um, asset. That's what I'll say. Um, kind of like Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning was never known for being a good playoff quarterback. He was always good for in the regular season. That's the same thing how Phil Rivers is. So I don't expect too much from Phil Rivers. And when you take away all the assets that the Chargers lost this season, offseason, that is, I don't know if I 100% would have confidence that he would take this team to, you know, become that good. And that's my problem with Phil Rivers, is I feel like you have to have talent around him. You have to put the greatness around him in order for him to be great. You can't just have him on a team with nobody and expect him to be the guy. Um, and again, you know, he played with Antonio Gates. He played with um, LT in his prime. Like, he's played with some great players throughout history. And a lot of that was because, again, you put talent around Philip Rivers, and Rivers can get the job done. Now, I'm saying all this just to kind of try to jinx him into doing good. And so far, it jinxed him all the way to a 9-6 and record. And the second I talk about the jinx, they lose. That's pretty much how that works. But they did make the playoffs, and that's all that matters. So, even though, you know, the season started off bad, once I saw a jinx in them, they went one, two, three, four, five, six games in a row they won. And then they went, what, seven and one down the stretch? That's not bad. And now they are a playoff team. So, jinxing sometimes does work. They actually, all, if they would have beaten the Chiefs, they could have actually won the division. Ironically enough, they are a seven seed, but they could have been a little bit higher up on that tier list if it wasn't for uh, them losing to the Chiefs. Um, wow, this was probably one of the most mid franchises I've done in a while. Everyone in, in this squad, everyone in this franchise is kind of mid. All right, so what did you end up doing? 3,800 yards, 32 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Okay, 977 yards and 12 for Gus Bus. We have Joshua Palmer, who leads in receiving. Um, okay, so nothing too crazy. Did he show up in the MVP? He did. He's number nine on the MVP race. So, not horrendously bad. Again, he got them to the playoffs, which is kind of what I expected from Philip Rivers. Um, I don't expect too long of a playoff run. They did beat the Bengals earlier in the season, but once you get to the playoffs, things kind of change. 
and he's one and done in the playoffs, which, again, like I said, for a Philip Rivers-led team, that seems about right. Like, gets you to the playoffs, you know, puts up a good statistical year, everyone looks good, everyone looks like they're competent. Maybe he might beat, like, for example, he beat the Bengals early in the season when they were 8-2, and two, and it's like, okay, so this guy, you know, they look good, they could do it again, but then they get to the playoffs and he doesn't do it again. That's pretty much Philip Rivers in a nutshell. Um, anyway, though, Super Bowl is between the Vikings and the Jags. I don't know what happened in this franchise, but the mid-city, the mid-central just happened. Everyone just, this is such a mid-franchise, I feel like. Like, there's, it's not, like, crazy great, but at the same time, we have a Vikings and Jags Super Bowl. Like, that's pretty much the summary of all this. We have a team that went 11-6 versus... 10 and 7. So, what seeds were they? The 6th seed and the 4th seed. Yeah, that's a really weird, odd combination for a Super Bowl. But J.J. McCarthy won MVP. So, that's a thing. Lamar Jackson won uh, Offensive Player of the Year. Mahomes won League MVP. So, like I said, just kind of a weird franchise. But again, it's a weird video because it's Philip Rivers, man, and Again, I think we got exactly what we expected here, right? Tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, though. I'll see you guys next one.